so it's that time again where I'm doing a empties video. I seriously go through stuff so fast, especially being in a family of six. A lot of the times, you know, my like older girls will like the smell of something and I'll let them use it. And so it just, it depletes really quickly. So if you're wondering how the hell am I doing all these empties, it's quite possible with a family of six. Let me just tell you, most of these are body related, to be honest with you. I don't think I have any beauty. So I'll go ahead and knock off the first one since it's kind of embarrassing but not really and it's just the secret flawless renewal unscented inv invisible solid deodorant I cannot get any more out of this because my kids got a hold of it <laughs> not only that when I crank it all the way up there's only like wee left and it falls off every time I try to apply it under my arm so there's really no point in me trying to apply this anymore because it doesn't work so if you're asking if I would buy deodorant Hell yes, I would buy deodorant. Again, who wouldn't buy deodorant? Don't answer that. I'm pretty sure there's some hippies out there that au natural, I don't even care. More power to you. However, I need me some deodorant. So of course I would definitely purchase this one again. I'm a huge fan of The Secret anyways. Not necessarily the scented ones, because I find when you like have BO or start to sweat or work out or whatnot, it, it mixes with the scent and just not very pleasant, so I tend to stick to the unscented ones. Good Goodbye. Bath and Body Works Wild Citrus Sunflower. I bought this months ago, and I went through this along with another one. I can't even remember the name of it. However, uh, this smells so, so good. It smells like super clean and like flowers. So this is my favorite, probably one of my favorite summer or spring scents. Uh, I smelled really, really fresh with this, and who doesn't like the smell of citrus, huh? You're nuts. Now, um, I totally would buy this one again. Like I said, it's my new favorite for the summer and fall, or summer and spring. Blur. Yes, so that's my empty. Next one that I think would actually be really, really good for the cold weather is this. It was like $3, I think. I can't even remember. Anyways, it's 18 fluid ounces, and I went through this baby super quick. And is this Caress Passionate Spell Body Wash. And... This one is in Passion Fruit Fiery Orange Rose. Okay, folks, let me just tell you a little bit about this. Not only is it cheap slash affordable, oh, it smells so good. It smells like cinnamon, vanilla, and... <laughs> I'm like pumping it into my nose. A little bit of a flower. That's what I was trying to say. So anyways, this baby lathers up super, super well. So not only does it leave me smelling like exactly like the smell of the bottle... Like, you know, the smell of the inside, not the plastic, but it foams and lathers so good. So not only can I use this as a body wash, I can use this darn thing as a shaving cream. And that's how I went through it so quick. This, for a good price, is a really good, warm, cold weather smell scent body wash. And I really, really like it. So hell yeah, I'll be purchasing this one again. No doubt. I was kind of sad to see it go because I've had it for quite some time and I was so hesitant on finishing it. And this is a Kat Von D Sephora lip gloss. I got this on sale ages ago and it was only like three bucks when I bought it. It doesn't even have the name on it anymore. Anyways, these are so pretty because this particular one comes off a little bit sheer. But like I showed you up close, it's got these really pretty flecks of like amber and gold. And uh, it comes off sheer, so it really flatters your natural lip tone, but adds a little bit of a color to it. So I was really sad to see this one go because it was seriously my favorite. I would definitely buy this again. I do like the Kat Von D lip glosses. I don't know if they're still available because I haven't been. I've totally avoided Sephora and all that junk for a while with good reason. Don't need to be bankrupt, especially with Christmas really not that far away. You get me? My next empty is the Bones from Bath & Body Works, and this is last year's holiday uh, Halloween collection. I bought like a six pack of these. I finished all the other ones up, but I finally finished this one. I really, really like the skull crossbone stuff. Like, that's totally my style. And this one smells like vanilla, but I finished it. These are a must when you're a mom. Uh, yeah, so I would definitely buy that again. I always buy hand sanitizers. I'm like a germaphobe, kind of. Next thing is this Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen. This thing is like a felt fine-tipped marker. Easier to do, uh, more precision to get it done, and um, 
pretty pigmented. This started drying up, honestly, towards the end a little bit, so the lines wouldn't show as dark, so I would have to apply this twice. Um, you know, once to do the actual eyeliner, let it sit dry, and then go over it again. Um, I love this thing, but I'm not quite sure that I would buy this again, simply because the fact of it drying out, like that's the typical thing with like the marker style liquid eyeliners, most of them dry out, so you have to use them within a certain amount of time. Not only that, I tend to like my fluid line liquid eyeliner. I don't necessarily use pencil all the time unless it's like under the eye on waterline, but so I'm kind of iffy. Maybe I would if I wanted to again, but it isn't my, oh my god, I have to get another one kind of product. See what I'm saying? Last one, I'm really kind of sad about. I bought this ages ago, tucked it behind everything in my cabinet because Lord knows the number one thing when you come to my house isn't makeup that I have, even though I have a lot. It's facial products. Like, I am a hoarder of not only blush, but facial, like, cleansers, toners, exfoliators, masks. I love it all. So I forgot I had this. I uh, pulled it back out again, been using it ever since. My skin has been amazing. This is a facial enzyme mask, pineapple. And it says pineapple extract and AHAs exfoliate restores radiant skin. This is the Freeman brand. Oops. And I've tried numerous things from them. I definitely recommend this and hell yes, I would buy this one again for sure because it was only like three or four dollars. But not only is it a mask, it exfoliates. It has little tiny like sugary type feely beads in it that gets off all that dead skin so my skin has been a little bit more vibrant than normal so yes I would buy this again and folks that is the end of my empties videos I hope I didn't bore you if you guys have empties share them and uh, otherwise than that yeah I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you all soon bye